everyone, welcome back to another episode of Lots of Lots. I'm back with a Q&A for my new subbies. I just want to say thank you so much if you've subscribed to me within the last like two weeks. Obviously, thanks for everyone anyway, but if you've subscribed to me within the last two weeks, I just want to say a special thank you. I tell a lot of stories on here and I do a lot of different talks, but I feel like this will be nice for you guys to just get to know me and who I am. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe and share. The most five songs to be on the Baby girl, I can't believe it, calm down Don't you know it's me that's handling it, eh hey. And she wiped for like 20 minutes To the most five songs that's beyond the limit Oh damn, baby girl, I can't believe it, calm down Don't you know it's me that's handling it, oh yeah Sorry, I had to dash on a little bit of a card again, you know Dash on a little bit of a top, girl I'm just gonna be answering some questions that you guys have sent in Thank you so much if you did send in any questions I love you guys I just want you guys to get to know me as well as you possibly can because like here we're literally like a family first question these questions were quite innovative if that's how you say the word if it's not then i do sincerely apologize right so first we've got what is your occupation so at the moment i'm working a nine to five job um people that know me know that i'm just i'm constantly switching jobs like, i can't stay in one place in the same time for a long time sorry um i find it really hard to do the whole same thing one year i find that really fucking hard so at the moment i'm working in debt so i'll answer calls um regarding debt so i basically send people to the right place do you get what i'm saying and just be like oh yeah like you have a debt great like what like what type of debt you have kind of thing so it's quite a boring job but i have a fantastic team like i love the people i work with so i really enjoy my job what course did you study at university i studied law um i i'm not gonna say i didn't want to do it because obviously i mean i picked it for a reason but i did study law because it was something my parents wanted me to do they if you're African, you know the things. Lawyer, doctor, or disgrace. So basically, I went for it. Not saying I regret it, but it's not something that I think if I'd had the chance to go back, I would have done because, don't get me wrong, I really, really enjoyed learning about law, but I think that's because I like to learn. So there's so much in law that's so complex that you learn about. So I think that's what was interesting. But in terms of whether or not that's what I wanted to do, it definitely was not the subject I would have picked had I been allowed to pick what I wanted. I'm more of a drama person. If y'all see, like, I'm a fucking drama queen. Do you know what I mean? So, like, I think I would have picked drama or maybe picked, like, psychology because I really, really love everything to do with psychology. What is your biggest fear or phobia in life? I think probably not finding, like, the love of my life and having, like, my family because I think I am, I'm a Taurus, right? We're, like, really grounded. We're earth, like, signs. So we find something we stick with it i know you lot are gonna get onto me and be like oh horoscope babes this and that and this and that but that's i do believe in that i'm a grounded creature so i think for me the most scariest thing for me would be not finding my husband not having a family as much as i'm always screaming like you don't need to get married i do want to have that 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 consistency in my life that type of happiness in my life i've got my kids running around i've got my husband and i'm telling him to fucking stop opening the fridge you know so quickly that the ketchup bottles fall out that's the type of problems that i want to have do you know what i mean so it is a big deal for me i can't lie like i do want to find my family so i think that's my biggest phobia another phobia would be definitely not fulfilling the purpose that god gave me because i feel like every single person here watching this has a purpose that god has given them you've got a talent that you're good at that's going to help millions of other people so i feel like i want to be able to fulfill that before i leave this earth so that opinions on friends with benefits um <laughs> If you're watching this, friends with benefits don't work. I know that makes me sound like I'm super hurt, but I'm not. I'm just saying, I've been in a lot of friends with benefits situations. I know you're thinking how, because you're a fucking bad bitch and wants to be your boyfriend, but no, sis. I've been in situations where they started off as friends and it's into friends with benefits. I personally think it doesn't work because somebody always catches feelings. In my situation, it has been that more than once, it's been a situation where the boy's like, oh yeah, I want you to be my girlfriend. And I'm just like, no, like, that's not, that's not what I'm doing this for. So personally, I just feel like to protect people's feelings, you should just establish whether or not it's either a relationship or it's just a friendship. Um, when it comes to going to have sex with friends that you really have, I would never suggest that because I would never do a thing with a friend that I have. Like, if I really truly value that friend, I wouldn't do a thing with them because things don't end well. Most people catch feelings and most of the time, it's gonna be the girl. So just don't do that shit. Have you ever been bullied? Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah, I definitely was bullied. Um, 
between the age from from the years of year 17 and 9 which i think were the best things that could have happened to me because it taught me a lot about resilience loving yourself um i was i was it, it was <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing because it was a fucking sad time. Do you know what I mean? Like I went through a fucking lot. Do you know what I mean? But I'm not saying that people should be bullied because it's wrong. Don't get me wrong, but it builds resilience. Like it taught me so much. Like I now don't give a flying fuck about what anybody's got to say because you've I've heard the worst things about me. There's light at the end of the tunnel, guys. That's all I can say because it don't last forever. And as soon as I was strong enough to like, be like, no, fuck off, you're not bullying me, then it stops, you know what I mean? So just be strong. If you are watching this and you're young, you're being bullied, it's very fucking hard to get out guys. I do understand how it can be something that takes over your life. Please speak to someone. I know you probably have that whole mentality, you're like, oh, if I say something, you'll get worse, but no. Speak to a teacher, speak to a friend, speak to somebody and get it sorted out because bullies these days are not fucking cool. Do you move to boys? Impossible, okay? I've had this talk with so many people, right? I am like a proper feminist, don't get me wrong. I'm all for women standing up, being strong, fighting for their rights, all of that stuff, voting, all of it. I'm all for it. But when it comes to moving to boys, guys, I cannot do that. Like, people that know me know I'm so confident. Like, I can easily be like to a boy, like, oh, you're good looking, all this and that, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't be like, oh, like, oh, like, like, can I have your number? I can like I could never I don't know what it is about that but I just feel like girls should be pursued I don't think I'll ever change in my opinion on that and I don't judge people that do it because I feel like you guys are so strong but I think I feel rejection a bit too much I could never move some guy I'm so sorry like <laughs> that's one of the things on this earth I, I am incapable of achieving can you date someone younger than you absolutely also impossible. So after I broke up with my ex-boyfriend, I had a period where I was speaking to a guy that was six months younger than me and it just, it always made me cringe. Like I would, I would always tell people like, oh yeah, I'm talking to this guy, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, yeah. And they'll be like, what? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I just couldn't say it. And when I'd say it to people, they'll be like, what? They're like, what are you, man? He's only six months old, younger than you. But I would just be like, it makes me feel like a paedophile like i don't know how to explain it but i just find it hard to date someone younger than me i do apologize if you're watching this i do fucking apologize but it was just something that i'm i'm i struggle with <laughs> what did you wish you knew before uni before adulthood and before getting into relationships what did i wish before i went to uni i wish i didn't have a boyfriend i know that sounds really crazy but i just feel like uni is as much as it is a time to learn and you know get a degree or whatever it is also a time for you to build relationships learn a lot about yourself spend time by yourself live by yourself survive by yourself and i went to uni for a boyfriend which meant that a lot of those lessons i didn't learn do you know what i mean because i was always constantly with someone so it was just like oh like you know i should be making friends i should be doing this whereas i was really antisocial because like i said i'm a taurus girls and boys i'm a tourist that means like i'm constantly like i'm like this with my partner like where my partner goes i go like you know what i mean that's how i am like we're very very grounded creatures we're used to something and we just keep on it so for me i do wish i didn't have a boyfriend because obviously it didn't work anyway so it would have been great to have it um before adulthood i wish i knew that saving is fucking important that's a lesson i've just started realizing I'm learning, but I think it is important, and I do think this is something that needs to be taught in schools, man. Like you're teaching me Pythagor Pythagoras, Pythagoras, Py whatever it is theorem that I've never used since I left that result state. We should actually be taught about saving, budgeting, life. Yeah, you know I mean, like all these things should be taught to us. We shouldn't be taught about isosceles and perimeters of a triathlon and a and of a pentagon. I mean, that's not important to me. I don't know why I was taught all those things. Cause that's just not fucking important. And before getting into relationships, I wish I'd known that loving yourself should come number one before anything else. Like I wish I'd known that because a lot of the things I'd done and a lot of the things I went into, I would have never went into because the person I am now, those mistakes are impossible to make because I just, I'm so sure of myself. I know who I am so deeply that it's just, 
not it's just not happening and and also red flags guys when you reach a red flag i beg you turn around and find your way out of that situation that's something i did wish i knew because when you finally find a red flag it is time for you to exit because it's going to be easier to exit at that point in time but if you decide to start exiting when you're three years into it and your souls are intertwined you've been having sex you have soul ties it's gonna to be too hard what is your definition of a successful life um I have a good savings, I have a fantastic family, I have the husband that treats me like a princess and a queen and values me as a mother and a wife, I have kids that are beautiful and I'm not saying beautiful in looks, I'm saying beautiful in how they treat others, they have manners, they are good kids, they, they listen at school, I know this is sounding unreal but it's gonna happen for me. I have a career that I love so I do something that I actually want to get up for kind of thing. Um, my mother's still alive and she's got my grandkids like, every Saturday Sunday because them niggas gonna be with her. Um, <laughs> that for me is a successful life. I'm really thinking about it and I love it. Sorry guys, I've had some wine and I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, my kids are gonna be so pretty. Your ideal guy, personality and looks. Okay, my ideal guy treats me like a queen. That's just it. My you know? perfect guy is affectionate because i really like an affection person i'm so sorry don't come here with your bad fucking vibes be telling me you can't hold my hand in public fuck you yeah i want somebody that's gonna touch on me like rubbing my hair rubbing my ears touching my head like i want someone that rubs my feet that's my my ideal guy looks wise i don't get on to me guys i like guys that aren't that tall i don't know what it is about them they're so much better looking to me i'm so sorry i know you guys are gonna be so deep for you. but i love them i can't i can't explain it i love them so i like i like a guy that is medium height i'm not gonna say short because not short i like a medium height guy with a nice smile i'm a sucker for a nice smile he has to get along with my sisters because my sisters are my world. You have to like my family. My family has to like you. You have to be ambitious. I like an ambitious guy. I do like somebody that sees the future and tries to prepare himself as best as he can for everything that's coming. I like a friendly guy. But I don't want a guy that talks too much. Like, don't be talking fucking too much. Like, don't be out here just like, yeah, 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 smiling at every girl that's passing. I don't like that. I'm so sorry. Like, be like calm, collect his call, talk when you need to. Um, have you always been this confident? If no, how did you become this confident? No, I haven't been this confident all, all my life. I became this confident because I decided that I was tired of being a mug. So I think with everything that's happened in my life, I've been through a lot and I just feel like I've decided that I am the type of person that's worth looking after. So I've decided to look after myself. Do you know what I mean? Like, I ain't waiting for no guy to do that. So I just feel like I decided that I'm gonna take the steps to love myself and I did. And do you know what? I'm gonna do a video on that because I think that is something that deserves a whole 30 minute video. So are you a feminist? Big fucking time. Like I love women so much like, I, uh, I, love you guys. I love women so much like and I always want the best for girls that I meet I always want the best for all the women I meet like I just love I feel like we should really be so strong we should be a sisterhood and I just feel like we just we're not as strong as we we, we are strong don't get me wrong but we don't we're not like the shit that we can do with our fucking bodies let alone our minds like we are way magical so i just feel like we just should know that and guys should be fucking scared of us like guys should be like oh 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 she's a woman be careful because we do so much and we're capable of so much but for me i'm a feminist all the fucking way like if i was back in the day i'd be a suffragette i'd be clinging myself to the house of parliament so we can vote that's who i would be i love women and i just think we do need to develop a sisterhood where we meet each other and we're just like you're a girl, I'm a girl, I love you. That's how it should yeah. be outside your nationality, your race. Of course, a hundred percent. Treat me like a queen and obviously be attractive to me. Do you get what I'm saying? Like I feel like there's attractive members of every single race. If you are attractive to me and you are beautiful in your soul and you my family likes you and you you rub my feet, I mean <laughs> I can date anyone, so yeah, not what hat are you? I'm five foot three. And every time I meet you guys on the street, you're all like, oh my god, you're so small. I, I know. You don't need to tell me this. Keep it to yourself. Things you want to do before you have kids. Um, I want a good life. I want to travel. Um, I do that a lot. So I'm happy that I, I've started that as a tradition. 
I want to spend time with my family. I want to spend time with my friends. I really want to live life to the point where it's not like, oh, I've had kids and I regret not being like single without kids kind of be married for like a whole year or two years before having kids like i want to just experience married life without children so yeah but yeah guys thank you so much for your questions those were a good range of questions so i hope that you know me a little bit more after watching this um i know i was a bit all over the place but i had wine so <laughs> allow me but i love you guys so much thank you for watching make sure you like subscribe and share Five songs that's beyond the limit. Oh, Baby girl, I can't believe it. Calm down. Don't you know it's me that's handling it? Hey. And she wiped for like 20 minutes to the most five songs that's beyond the limit. Oh, damn. Baby girl, I can't believe it. Calm down. Don't you know it's me that's handling it? Oh, yeah. Be fast. Oh, yeah.